Hey, baseball fans, welcome back to Tits and Streams, your go-to channel for daily baseball predictions. I'm Koken, and I'm here to give you the inside scoop on today's top matchups. Before we dive into today's picks, make sure to hit that subscribe button and ring the bell so you never miss out on our latest predictions. If you enjoy our content, please give this video a thumbs up and share it with your friends who love baseball and sports betting. Our channel relies entirely on your support. We don't have any sponsors, so every like, share, and comment helps us keep going. If you'd like to support us even more, consider donating by pressing the thanks button under this video. We love hearing from you. Drop a comment below. Your feedback makes our channel better. All right, let's get into today's predictions. Today we have predictions for three MLB games. The first prediction for today is for a game between the St. Louis Cardinals and Chicago Cubs. As the Chicago Cubs gear up for game two against the St. Louis Cardinals at Wrigley Field, the atmosphere is tense. The Cubs, sitting at 53-58, have had a rocky season, while the Cardinals, at 56-53, are slightly ahead in the standings. This game is crucial for both teams, especially after the Cubs' recent defeat. Let's break down why the Cardinals hold the upper hand in this matchup. The Cubs are in a tough spot, trailing Milwaukee by 10 games and 6.5 games out of a wild card spot. Despite a recent series win against the Royals, their performance has been inconsistent. In contrast, the Cardinals are just 1.5 games behind the Arizona Diamondbacks for the final wild card spot in the National League. With a solid road performance and a two game winning streak, the Cardinals come into this series with momentum. Javier Assad will take the mound for the Cubs, carrying a 3.23 ERA. However, his XFIP of 4.52 suggests he may have been lucky, indicating potential struggles ahead. Assad's tendency to allow 4.7 hits and 1.8 walks per game could be problematic against a Cardinals lineup ranked 17th in the league, but capable of explosive performances. The Cardinals will counter with Eric Fede, who boasts a 3.11 ERA and a 7-4 record, showcasing his above-average performance. Fede averages 5.4 innings per game and has delivered quality starts in two of his last four outings. Although he has struggled against the Cubs, with a 5.51 ERA in three games, his overall form gives the Cardinals a competitive edge. Offensively, the Cubs have been lackluster, ranking 22nd in MLB. Seiya Suzuki, however, has been a bright spot, hitting 370 over the past week with 10 hits and two home runs. The Cardinals' offense, led by Matt Carpenter's 1.6 and 6.7 OPS over his last four games, along with contributions from Nolan Arenado and Alec Burleson, provides a significant boost. Defensively, both teams have strengths and weaknesses. The Cardinals' bullpen is strong, ranking 7th in Team ERA, with Ryan Helsley leading the majors with 33 saves. The Cubs' bullpen, ranking 10th in Team ERA, also has reliable closer Hector Neris. Historically, the Cardinals have dominated at Wrigley Field, winning 7 of their last 10 games against the Cubs. Assad has also struggled against the Cardinals, going 0-2 with a 2.95 ERA over 7 games. Weather at Wrigley Field can be unpredictable but the Cardinals have proven they can handle road games, maintaining a 500 record away from Bush Stadium. The Cubs are missing 3B Benjamin Cowles for the rest of the season due to a wrist injury, which could impact their defensive and batting lineup. The betting line is set at minus 1 and 10 for both sides, with the spread favoring the Cardinals at minus 1.5 runs and the over-under total runs at 7.5. Given the analysis, the Cardinals seem to have the upper hand. The recommendation is to play the St. Louis Cardinals money line and consider the under 7.5 total runs. Bienvenido a BTS, casa de apuestas y casino, tu centro definitivo para apuestas deportivas seguras y emocionantes y juegos de casino. BTS es una de las casas de apuestas en línea más antiguas y fiables en los EU, sirviendo a millones de clientes en todo el mundo cada mes. BTS Confiado por más de 30 años, ofrece grandes bonos de bienvenida, innumerables opciones de apuestas y muchos métodos de depósito y retiro. Depositar fondos es fácil y seguro, con un depósito mínimo de solo 10 dólares. Los pagos son rápidos y sin complicaciones, comenzando desde solo 50 dólares. Elige entre varias opciones de pago como MoneyGram, cheque por mensajería, criptomoneda o transferencia bancaria. Registrarse es rápido y sencillo. Para registrarte, Puedes usar el enlace en la descripción y disfrutar de un generoso bono de bienvenida del 125% hasta $3,000 dólares. Al registrarte usando el enlace en la descripción, también nos apoyarás ya que ganamos una pequeña comisión por tu registro en B2S. Gracias por apoyarnos. Únete ahora y empieza a ganar.
The second prediction for today is for a game between the Kansas City Royals and Detroit Tigers. As the Kansas City Royals and Detroit Tigers gear up for their showdown at Comerica Park on August 2, 2024, at 6.40 p.m. EDT, fans can expect an intense battle between two teams having contrasting seasons. The Tigers, with a record of 52-58, have struggled to find their rhythm, while the Royals, standing strong at 61-49, are pushing hard for a postseason spot. However, the spotlight of this prediction isn't on the winner, but on the total runs, predicting the combined score to stay under seven. Both teams are fielding their star pitchers, setting the stage for a low-scoring duel. Detroit's ace, Tarek Skubal, has been a standout with a stellar 2.35 ERA and a 12-3 record this season. Skubal's command on the mound is particularly evident at Comerica Park, boasting a 1.95 ERA and a 0.85 whip over 10 starts. His ability to control the game and suppress runs is pivotal in keeping the score low. Facing Scooball is Kansas City's Cole Reagans, who is also impressed with a 3.37 ERA this season. Reagans has shown consistency on the road, maintaining a 2.83 ERA in 57.1 innings. His career ERA of 2.77 against Detroit, including a dominant six-inning performance earlier this season, underscores his capability to stymie the Tigers' offense. Recent performances reveal that the Royals have been on a roll, scoring four or more runs, in seven of their last eight games. However, this offensive surge is countered by the Tigers' ability to stifle opponents, especially with Scooball on the mound. Conversely, the Tigers' offense has struggled, averaging just over four runs per game and managing only five runs in their last three games. Head-to-head matchups at Comerica Park have often been low-scoring affairs. In their last five encounters in Detroit, the total runs scored have seldom exceeded seven, highlighting the pitcher's dominance and the team's defensive strengths. The Tigers' bullpen, with a collective whip of 1.22, is one of the better units in the league, further supporting a low-scoring prediction. Injury reports are also influential. The Tigers' leading offensive player, Riley Green, is out indefinitely, severely limiting their scoring potential. Without Green, Detroit's lineup lacks the punch needed to challenge the Royals' pitching. Meanwhile, Kansas City is relatively healthy, but their dependence on key players like Bobby Witt Jr. and Salvador Perez means an off day for these stars could stall their offense. Weather forecasts for August 2nd in Detroit predict cool temperatures and a slight breeze, conditions favoring pitchers over hitters. Comerica Park's dimensions also tend to reduce home runs, contributing to lower scoring games. Considering the statistical analysis, recent form, and environmental factors, the best betting recommendation is to play the total runs under seven. Scooball's home dominance combined with the Tigers' offensive struggles and Reagan's solid performance, suggests a tight, low-scoring game. Both teams have shown a knack for keeping games close and low-scoring, particularly in their Detroit matchups. In conclusion, with elite pitchers on the mound and both offenses facing hurdles, the smart bet is on the Kansas City Royals and Detroit Tigers to stay under seven total runs. This prediction, rooted in deep statistical analysis and current team form, presents a strong case for a low-scoring game. The third prediction for today is for a game between the Los Angeles Dodgers and Oakland Athletics. As the Los Angeles Dodgers and Oakland Athletics get ready to square off at the Oakland Coliseum, baseball fans and bettors are in for an intriguing showdown. Despite their contrasting seasons, both teams have plenty to play for, making this game one to watch. The Dodgers, with a solid 63-46 record, are aiming for another National League West title. Despite losing four of their last five games, they remain a powerhouse in MLB. On the other hand, the Athletics, sitting at 45-65, have shown more fight than their record indicates, especially in their final season at the Oakland Coliseum. Los Angeles comes into this game after a tough 8-1 loss to the San Diego Padres. However, they're buoyed by key trade deadline additions like Kiermaier, Flaherty, Edmund, and Kopech. The Dodgers are all in for a World Series run, with Shohei Otani leading the charge with a 309 batting average, 32 home runs, and 76 RBIs, making a strong case for the NL MVP award. Oakland, despite being at the bottom of the AL West, has been competitive lately, including a narrow 1-0 loss to the San Francisco Giants. Their offense has struggled, ranking low in runs scored and batting average, but Brent Rooker has been a standout, hitting 293 with 26 home runs and 77 RBIs. The pitching matchup adds another layer of excitement. Gavin Stone starts for the Dodgers, but his recent performances have been shaky, allowing four runs per game in three of his last four starts, with a season ERA of 3.34. For the Athletics, 
Joey Estes takes the mound, showing flashes of brilliance in a mixed season, allowing just four earned runs in 19 innings over his last four outings. Bullpen performance will be crucial. The Dodgers' bullpen has struggled with a 5.49 ERA in July, which could be a weakness the Athletics exploit. Conversely, Oakland's bullpen has been slightly more reliable. Offensively, the Dodgers are formidable, ranking fourth in runs scored with a team batting average of 252. However, they've had trouble scoring on the road recently, with just 12 runs in their last three away games. Oakland has been strong at home, with a 26-27 record, averaging 4.13 runs per game, and scoring five or more runs in 11 of their last 15 home games. Defensively, the Dodgers have the edge, allowing just 3.78 runs per game with opponents hitting 231 against them. Their ERA is 380, and their whip is 1.22, both among the best in the league. The Athletics, meanwhile, have a team ERA of 4.36, with opponents hitting 256 against them. Environmental factors, such as the spacious outfield of the Oakland Coliseum, could also impact the game, potentially favoring pitchers by suppressing home runs. Betting lines favor the Dodgers with a minus 1.5 run spread and an over-under total runs margin of 8.5. Considering the Dodgers' recent struggles and the Athletics' resilience at home, the smart bet is on Oakland covering the plus 1.5 spread. With the Dodgers' inconsistent form and Stone's struggles on the mound, they might find it tough to dominate. Meanwhile, the Athletics, buoyed by recent strong offensive performances and Estes' potential, are poised to keep the game close. All factors considered, the recommendation is to back the Oakland Athletics to cover the plus 1.5 spread and possibly even take them on the money line for an outright win. Their competitiveness at home and the Dodgers' recent road issues make Oakland a solid bet in this matchup.